Welcome to Mackay Plan, the world's leading subsea cable planning software. This video will demonstrate using the Add Remove Buffer Zones tool. First, we will use the tool to ensure our cable is not too close to other existing cables. The tool is accessed from the Project menu, then Path submenu. The first parameter that must be set is the size. For this project, we will use a constant distance of 22,500 meters as our path buffer distance. The other size option is to set the buffer distance as a multiple of the depth specific to each section of the path. Select the option to create a buffer around the route or path lines. More options will come up to allow you to further specify where you would like to apply the buffer. You can specify what points you would like to add the buffer between or use a Structured Query Language or SQL filter. For this example, we want the buffer around the entire route, so we will leave that option selected. Clicking Add will apply the buffer zone in Plan View. Now we can see where the other existing cables intersect our buffer zone. To adjust our path so the existing cables do not intersect our buffer zone, Use the Path Edit tools to move the alter courses. Notice how the buffer zones move with the path, which means our buffer zones will be valid throughout any edits you make. For this example, we want the buffer around the entire route, so we will leave that option open. Next, we will use the Add Remove Buffer Zones tool to set cable transitions across cable crossings. To add a buffer zone around just the crossing points, we will need to remember that the label on these points begins with CX. We want the cable type to be lightweight protected cable at distances within 8 km of crossing points, so we will set the buffer zone size to be a constant distance of 8 km. Next, select Buffer around path points. You can choose what type of point you would like to add the buffer around. You can also choose to add filtering based on the label or using an SQL filter. For this example, we will filter it by the label prefix CX. To add cable transition points, use the Path Editor to add points at the edges of the newly created buffer zones. To make the point a cable transition point, use the Path Point Editor and check the box for cable transition, then change the cable type to LWP. Click Apply to set the change. Click Next to proceed to the other cable transition point. Instead of LWP, select LW to transition back to lightweight cable. Click Apply to set the change. You will need to repeat this process for each cable crossing. The last task we will use the Add Remove Buffer Zone tool for is to distance repeaters away from existing cables. We want the repeaters to be no closer than 20 kilometers to any other existing cables, so we will set a constant buffer distance of 20 kilometers. Next, Buffer around cable assembly items is what we want and is already selected by default. You can choose the item type and body type, but because we are interested in adding a buffer zone around our repeaters and there are only repeaters, the default settings are fine. Like the past two examples, you can also filter the buffer zone parameters based on the label or using an SQL filter. We want all the repeaters to have a buffer zone, so no added filtering is needed. For the instances where existing cables pass through the buffer zones, use the Cable Assembly window in tandem with the Plan View window to locate, then move repeaters that need to be moved. 
move the repeaters by changing their distance along the cable path. You will repeat this process as needed for all of the repeaters. If you no longer need a buffer zone, you can delete it using the Add Remove Buffer Zone tool. Select the Delete Existing Buffers tab. Select the buffer you would like to remove, then click Delete. The buffer will be removed from Plan View and the Map Legend. An alternative to removing the buffer zone is turning the display off from the Map Legend so you can keep the feature and take it out of Plan View. Please contact Mackay to try the software or for more information. Thanks for watching.